do is important. Oh. Meanwhile, all I do is invent little people in my head and then make them have imaginary conversations with each other. Books change people's lives. Has something I've written never changed your life? Absolutely. Absolutely. My dining room table was wobbly as hell. Oh my God. Before your last book came out, it was like perfect. I'm telling Take you. Take it back to Logan, please. Logan cannot help you, Monk. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome back to Late Night Way with Tracy Ellis. Oh! That was a clip from American, American Fiction. Fiction. Uh, no, I, I was not familiar with the book. Is Erasure yes. that it's based on, which is 2001. I'm not sure. I yep. actually, I'm actually grateful I had not read the book because it let me come to the script really clean. That's a probably a nice feeling, right? Yeah, I think sometimes good. when there's books that you're familiar with, it's very hard to like step into the room. Yeah, Percival, uh, it's an extraordinary book. I still have not read it. That's problematic. Um, <laughs> bad student. Uh, but it's a great movie. I got to work with Jeffrey Wright, beautiful ensemble cast, Issa Rae, Sterling K. Brown, um, Leslie Uggams. And it's a story about a man who's trying to make sense of who he is in the world versus how the world sees him. And then it's really funny with a lot of fans. I don't know. I'm so honored and proud to be in this movie. Uh, I've, I've heard great things, and I really love Jeffrey Wright. And I've been lucky enough to have him here a few times. And, you know, obviously he's acting, but he laughs at you in the clip. Uh, I will say, in real life, yes. getting Jeffrey Wright to laugh at you feels like a it, huge accomplishment. Yes, listen, Eddie Murphy laughing at you is one thing. Yeah. Because the man laughs. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's a laugher. He's a laugher. Jeffrey Wright... So he broke when we were we were shooting the first couple of takes and you know don't it was in a car so the director wasn't in there to say cut you know yeah. what I mean so I had time to just go so yeah. I was just improv and talking whatever and all of a sudden Jeffrey starts laughing I was like oh, what are you laughing at and he's like you and I was like what he's like you're funny I'm like I know what we're acting <laughs> what are you doing Jeffrey Wright huh? and then I was like oh my god I can make him laugh I'm gonna keep going yeah. <laughs> it was so much I fun I do not blame you at all oh it was fantastic what an so actor he is he's the best. <gasps> He is oh, the best, but my Lord. I'm gonna say this: you got a Eddie Murphy project. I Great. can't. Jeffrey Stop. Wright project. Stop amazing. it! But you you turned up in a movie that might be the biggest one of all. Let me tell you something: I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> you guys, did you, did you know this one was coming? Because no! this one. All right, so you are in. You guys don't even know what it is. Just get excited, all right? But this is so exciting. Tracy was in a movie that she didn't know she was gonna be in, and that movie was Beyonce's Renaissance. What? Yeah, I have a I have a guest a guest appearance in uh, the Beyonce Renaissance movie. Yes. And yes, it's during the Mute Challenge. So it was during the Mute Challenge, and you uh, we're going to show the clip. Oh! You seem very proud of yourself for how you execute the Mute Challenge. <laughs> it's very embarrassing. It's very. It's not great. It's so the Mute wonderful. Challenge. People know the Mute Challenge, and I figured I really didn't want to mess it up, so I was just quiet for most of the song. <laughs> uh, let's take a look uh, at Tracy's wonderful cameo in oh. Renaissance. Look around this cool. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> oh my god, you know, Seth, it's me and Cardi B. We're both in that little oh, section. Oh, do you movie. really? Yeah, it's me and Cardi B. Wow, so, well, you that know, makes sense. That's all you I'm saying. You two remind me so much of each other. Don't you think? Yeah. Um, <laughs> when you go to a giant concert like that, yeah. you see a performer. Uh, of Beyonce's magnitude, having grown up as Diana Ross's daughter, and I'm assuming going to shows like that from a very young age. But yet it seems like you can still be blown away by it. Well, first of all, I'm a huge fan of Beyonce's. Love all of her music. I don't go to a lot of concerts. That's what I was wondering. And I was very overwhelmed. So yeah. because I'm my mom's child, like I, growing up being in a stadium, like I knew the set list. So I knew when the last song was, when I was gonna cut out. It was, I knew where I was cutting out. I was going backstage. Like I wasn't just, <gasps> I got, we got to that stadium and with my friends and I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. They're like, you got this. I was like, I don't know. I was like, there's people everywhere. Like everywhere. And so we did it, and then I was standing next to Jay-Z, so when they started leaving, I was like, guys, we gotta go now! Yeah. Jay-Z's leaving, we gotta go! So. Probably pretty smart. Yeah. And you got out, and I everything out, was good? and now I'm in the movie. And I mean, now you're in the movie. So worth it. And I dressed up like a, a ball, a, what do you call it? A, uh, like a disco ball. A disc, I dressed yeah. up like a disco ball. I'm so happy that is what you, like if I would said disco ball and it was something else, you're like, <laughs> what? No. <laughs> a di a, I, what did you I'm say like, Seth, I dressed Seth, like? Seth, it wasn't a disco ball, okay? <laughs> Yeah, like a I am so happy that you came back. I'm it's the so best glad to, to see you. you. You guys, this is Tracy Ellis Ross.
Handy Kane Lane is streaming now on Prime Video and American Fiction opens its legs.